Tonight, a CBC News investigation is raising new questions about whether organized crime has infiltrated the Canada Revenue Agency. The RCMP has already been investigating the tax office in Montreal. Now, our colleagues at Radio Canada have obtained a suspicious tax refund. And wait till you hear who it was sent to. Our senior investigative correspondent, Diana Swain, joins us with the details on this. Diana. Peter, for the last three years, our colleagues at Radio Canada's investigative program on KET have been looking into alleged infiltration of organized crime into Canada's revenue agency. Tonight, a troubling new piece of information involving the most notorious crime family in the country. It could be said that Nicolo Rizzuto hid in plain sight. For years, he was widely known as the head of Montreal's mafia. But it wasn't until 2006 that he was arrested in a massive police raid and charged with racketeering. The same year, Canada Revenue Agency put a lien on his home, alleging he owed more than a million and a half dollars in unpaid taxes, which is what makes this new discovery so astonishing. CBC Radio Canada has learned that while in jail in 2007, CRA authorized this check be cut to Rizzuto, a tax rebate for nearly $400,000. Jean-Pierre Paquette spent decades as a CRA investigator in Quebec who worked on every major mafia investigation there, including the one that led to Rizzuto's arrest. He says the mafia don's name alone should have set off alarm bells within CRA. He suggests the fact that check got through means organized crime may have gotten through to someone in the Canada Revenue Agency. C'est sûr que le nom là était beaucoup publicisé suite aux arrestations. Puis je veux dire, regardez, c'est pas c'est pas Monsieur Jourdou là, là quand même. Là, on se comprend bien. Là. Mais par la suite là, je veux dire, il y a des, oui, il y a des filtres. Oui, il y a, ça prend des approbations tout au long du processus. Alors c'est plus probable que ce soit une erreur selon vous. Si on regarde ça de cet œil là, là, je me pose de sérieuses questions. Paquette says there's no way that check should have gotten past CRA's internal controls. Entre autres, je me souviens très bien que la maison personnelle de M. Rousteau avait été saisie, des comptes de banque, ses certificats de dépôt. Je sais que le compte de M. Rousteau, d'après moi, n'était pas entièrement payé au moment là, de l'émission de ce chèque-là. Euh, Ça me laisse très perplexe sur la validité d'un tel remboursement ou d'une telle opération de la part de l'agence. It was Paquette who went to Rizzuto's home insisting the check be returned. He says Rizzuto's daughter handed it to him in the kitchen, the very room where three years later, having been released from prison, Rizzuto was killed by a sniper who fired a single shot through the patio doors into his head. Asked to explain how a man with a huge tax bill and 